Hi, it's Cindy from Quilters Covered in Ankeny, Iowa, and I'm here today to show you a what's new or how to. So today we're going to talk about cleaning your machine out. When customers come in and their machines aren't working, the first thing I do is say, when did you last clean your sewing machine out? And most of them go, oh, I'm supposed to clean it out? Yeah, you are. Now you still want to bring it in for a good service at about once a year with our great repairman Kevin or wherever you take your machine but you do need to clean it out yourself periodically so I'm gonna do just a quick show you how to do it the real important part is how you put it back together a lot of times we can take stuff apart but it needs to go back together the correct way so I have a baby lock destiny and that's what I'm gonna show you on so your machines might be slightly different than mine but the whole idea is the same so in my koala cabinet, because mine sits down in, I'm going to need to take out my insert. You guys might also have an accessory box or something like that that goes around. Hopefully you won't make a big noise like I did. Pull that off and then you have your um, bobbin case cover. So when it comes off, should come off in a big chunk, you may need a screwdriver to take it off. Now my machine tells me with a little sad face that there's no needle plate cover. At this point, if you have an electronic one, you should turn it off. But the lighting is so great, we're gonna leave it on for us today. So we're gonna set that aside, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take out my bobbin. Now don't panic if your bobbin case comes out at the same time. That's okay, we needed to take it out. I'm gonna take my bobbin and my bobbin case and set them aside. Now when I look down in here, a lot of you are gonna, <gasps> and maybe swear, but hopefully you won't do that. But there's a lot of fuzz in that bobbin case. So I'm gonna take my little um, brush and I'm gonna clean out my fuzz. So that's just a little bit of what I got out. We've been doing a retreat, a quilting retreat that we sponsor four times a year. And I'm sure a lot of you have quilting retreats in your area too. And we've been doing a lot of sewing. So it was way time for me to clean that out. So I'm just gonna get in there, get out all the fuzz, loose things I can. If you have some canned air, that works great too. Short little blasts. Don't ever turn your can upside down. Just quick, get it fuzz out, and then clean it with your brush. Part two is going to be to take off your back plate. Some of you might find it easier to take off your foot first. That's cool. And then you're gonna use whatever your favorite screwdriver is to get this off. Now this screwdriver that I'm using comes with my Destiny, but we do sell them separately as well. And it has um, three or four positions on it, so I can use just one screwdriver for everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out, being very careful not to drop the screws into the sewing machine, because that happens. So just be uh, aware and very, very careful to do that. So I just loosen it and then I use my finger to take off the rest of it. So that screw is coming out. If you have a huge problem with dropping screws in, if you leave this part attached and then the whole thing can come out at once, you won't have this opening for the screw to fall in. So that's a possibility too. Then this back piece is going to come off and then there's gonna be lots more fuzzies in between my uh, feed dogs, everything, you're gonna clean that out. Great, it's beautiful and clean. Now we have to put it back together. So most of you want to put your bobbin case in first because gosh, it just makes it a lot easier to get that in when everything is open. But you don't want to do that. We wanna put it back together the exactly the same way we took it apart. So this guy's gonna go back on. I'm gonna screw my screws back in tightening them up tight. Whoops, don't drop them in your machine, guys, because that is very, very bad. So if you have a magnetized screwdriver, that is gonna make your life a little bit easier as well. Okay, so we'll pretend I actually tighten those completely down with the screwdriver. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my bobbin case back in. So if you see on my bobbin case, there's a little arm that comes out. On your machine in here, there's also a little arm that comes out and they should go in together. Mine also has a little white dot that lines up. So when I set that bobbin case in, it's gonna have 
a little bit of play to it. It should not be stuck. So what happens is if you put this in first, then put your plate on and tighten it, this bottom case may shift, get stuck. When you start, you might puncture a hole in the bobbin case, which completely screws up the tension on your machine. So pop that little guy back in, put this back on, my little sad face will go away, and I'm all set to sew. So hopefully that will help you guys in cleaning out your machine. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Bye.